So um, without further ado, I will now move to uh, Eli Mayendi. Um, so Eli, we heard from um, the different speakers who were representing the bank, they were representing the SME, the international organizations, the, you are a farmer who deals with these issues. Um, you are operating in Kenya, a country that has implemented relatively strict measures, including social distances, um, uh, tightened external board controls, controls of movements, um, and you still have a business to run because for me, the farm is, is a business. Um, can you share with us how you were operating before COVID, how COVID affected you, and how um, are you responding to the, the challenges and the way you interact with the different stakeholders in the value chain? And you have four minutes, over to you. Okay, thank you very much, Turaya. Um, uh, before the COVID pandemic, uh, no, I, I wouldn't say that everything was smooth, but uh, after the pandemic uh, came in, I think uh, we faced most many problems, many challenges. For instance, uh, we now are faced with uh, the issue of delayed inputs. Uh, when you order farm inputs, uh, I think uh, because of the restriction of movement and the curfews, uh, most of them delay. So uh, I think what we've done on our farm is that sometimes we try to order before, like uh, what we need for next week, we order this week. Um, and I think we've also faced the problem of a drop in prices, prices of milk, um, uh, because of the closure of the hotels, you know, and uh, restaurants. So I think there's a lot of milk, but there are no buyers. So the demand is very low, but the supply is high. I think that has... Uh, uh, that is the cause of for the uh, I think the reduction of the prices of milk. Um, uh, so on my farm, what we've done is that we've tried to mitigate that by uh, trying to concentrate on other products. Like for instance, we sell fodder to other farmers. We also sell cow dung manure to other farmers so that we can actually use the money to continue running the farm. We've. Uh, also faced some challenges in uh, training people because on our farm we train other farmers and uh, because of the social distancing and uh, you know the restriction of movement we cannot we can only have so many people on the farm and so uh, it has become a big problem because we cannot train as many farmers as we used to so to mitigate that we've actually opened us a few WhatsApp groups where we do train farmers online. Uh, they don't they don't come to the farm anymore, so we train them online. And I think that's uh, our way of trying to you know deal with that issue. Uh, we've uh, also reduced the output because we also do fodder production on the farm. Uh, we do travel around the country uh, every three months a year. Um, to you know, try and do further production for other farmers, but uh, we we that that has been affected this year because of the restriction of movements, and uh, we've also reduced the number of uh, laborers that we do work with because we used to move around the country with about uh, thirty young people, but now we can only do ten. So that has, uh, in a way, reduced uh, our output. And I think this will uh, affect uh, the uh, feed uh, um, uh, security in the future because we we used to do about 300 acres for the three months that we do operate, but this year we've only managed to do 100 acres. So they are, that means that there are farmers that we used to do fodder for, and uh, this year we've not been able to do silage for them. So I think they will be facing, in the near future, they'll be facing a problem of feed security on their farms. So I think that has been uh, another problem uh, that has been, uh, you know, brought about by this pandemic um, since it started. Uh, I think that's it for me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eddie, for sharing uh, these insights. Uh, I mean, obviously, you reminded us again that the demand is equally important. We should not only have actions that are looking at the supply, because once you produce the goods, someone has to consume them and buy them. And I was very also interested in the in, in your intervention about the, the training and the implication it had.